Hello all, this is JMO from NFlight Tech Support. I am going to talk to you about our digital audio recording cable for GoPros, specifically uh, issues with your GoPro not receiving said audio. People call in and a lot of times they think there's something wrong with their cable which is usually not the case. Uh, let me quickly describe the setup to you here. Uh, I have a GoPro Hero 11, uh, and I'm just using a little old iPod shuffle here with a uh, 3.5 millimeter to a quarter inch adapter to feed here. So uh, I guess your headset would go into this, but you don't have to have your headset in line. Uh, I just don't have any way of uh, accessing my airplane at this point in time, so I'm just using this little music player as sort of our feed. Um, the most important thing to check is that when you turn your GoPro uh, on, if you go into the menu, when you're all plugged in and whatnot, right? So I'm gonna swipe down, swipe left, go to preferences. I'm gonna scroll down and you're gonna see mods. I don't know if you can see it very well here in the video, but you hit mods and media mod should be highlighted. If it's gray, that means that this media mod is not being recognized by the camera. And your Hero 10 or Hero 11, sometimes Hero 9s, Hero 8s, you need to update the firmware to recognize, to make sure that it will recognize its own media mod. Once you're in the media mod, you have several different options of input levels. So standard mic, standard mic plus, powered mic, powered mic plus, and line in. Now, depending on your aviation stack and your airplane and whether you're going direct to one of the ports or your headset is in line, um, you might have to play around with this a little bit. Now, most players, like a, like a player or a stack or something powered sending a signal, should indeed be a line in, okay? So this is a line in for sure, uh, you know, because you can control the volume on it. Um, you can start uh, by making sure it's set on standard mic. Start with that and then test your, uh, your, your, um, your, your video clip, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But I know that these players, like this little music players, um, are line in, so I'm gonna set that to a line in level. Now I'll go back. Um, I will start recording a, a uh, clip here. I'll just record a clip real quickly. There's actually music playing through this right now. Seven, eight, yeah, 10 seconds is enough. I will stop this. Now, the quickest way to check your, your file, right, is just a swipe up, but I have my lens locked, or my screen locked, so I have to unlock that, but you just swipe up, automatically starts playing. Can you hear that? So, my audio went through. Hopefully you could hear that coming through this little camera speaker in there. Uh, Anyway, that's how you check it. It's that easy. So uh, this system's ready to go. Uh, check it on the ground. Do pre-flight, my friends, do pre-flight. So firmware, make sure your firmware is up to date and then make sure that your camera is recognizing said uh, adapter. That easy, friends. Feel free to reach out anytime. Support at nflightcam.com.